Most professionals eventually face the challenge of juggling too many tasks and not enough time. You're bouncing between emails, reports, team meetings, deadlines, and suddenly you realize you've spent half a day writing the same kind of things over and over again. And this is where ChatGPT comes in. Not as a magic wand, but as a practical, powerful tool to help you improve your productivity. Let me show you how to use ChatGPT effectively as a business professional, freelancer, job seeker, or student without getting generic or risky results. Let's start with the golden rule. It's all about how you ask. And the more clearly you describe what you want, the better the result. Let's say you're a project manager, writing an email to update your client about a delay. Try a vague prompt. Write an email about a delay. This gives you something bland and vague. Now let's try a better version. Act as a project manager. Write a professional yet reassuring email to a client named Sarah about a five-day delay due to supplier issues. Keep it concise, polite, and include new estimated timeline. The result? Clear, human, and ready to paste. The next recommendation is the one you should be especially concerned about. Don't use sensitive data. It's a big one here. ChatGPT doesn't know who you are, but you still shouldn't paste confidential info. For example, if you're writing a contract or proposal, replace names and numbers with placeholders. Try this instead. Before pasting into ChatGPT, you can change it in Word and use placeholder in square brackets. If you're not happy with some sections of the contract, you can try this prompt. Rewrite the introduction and payment section of this contract to sound more professional. Use company A and company B as placeholders. And then copy and paste your contract from Word. Doing it this way is smart and keeps your business safe. Think of ChatGPT as your first draft generator. Want to write a blog post on time management for solopreneurs? Try this prompt. Write a blog post outline for 700 word article on time management tips for solopreneurs. Include five main tips and make the tone casual but informed. Now you can refine the outline with this prompt. Expand point two into three short paragraphs with examples. This iterative approach gives you control without starting from scratch. With ChatGPT, you can match tone to the situation. For example, you can rephrase this email to sound more assertive but still polite. And here's the more assertive but yet still polite version of your email. Hi Jordan, I wanted to check in regarding this proposal I sent last week. Please let me know your thoughts when you have a moment. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Now compare it to the original. It's like having a tone switch in your writing. Here's another important productivity tip. Summarize, simplify, or explain. If you're a student or a manager, clarity saves time. Here's what ChatGPT can do for you. Summarize this 1000 word document into five bullet points for an executive briefing. Or if you don't understand the concept and would like to quickly learn it, here what else you can do. Explain what blockchain is in simple terms for the beginner investor. Here's another cool thing. You can automate tasks or formulas. You will love it. You don't need to memorize Excel functions anymore. Just describe what you need and ChatGPT is right here to help you. Write an Excel formula to calculate the number of days between two columns of dates, excluding weekends. And here's the immediate response. You can use Network Days function in Excel to calculate it. And here's more information for you to start using it immediately. Here's how you can use ChatGPT for career growth. Try this. Rewrite this resume bullet to emphasize leadership. And here's the updated version right here for you. ChatGPT even generated updated cover letter, including this new information. Are you getting ready for job interview and need to practice? Here's what you can do. Give me three mock interview questions for a marketing analyst role and model answers. Having ChatGPT is like having a free, always-on career coach. Believe it or not, but you can use ChatGPT to think strategically and even to frame a decision. Don't believe me? Here's an example. Help me draft a SWOT analysis for a small accounting firm that wants to expand into advisory services. Or here is another good one. Compare the pros and cons of raising prices 10% versus launching a new product line. Here's the deal. ChatGPT won't make decisions for you, but it can surface angles you haven't thought of. Let's recap. ChatGPT is a professional assistant for professionals to write, plan, and automate everyday tasks with clarity and speed. Specific, well-structured prompts unlock better results. You need to be mindful of data sensitivity and treat outputs as editable drafts, not final answers. Key use cases include writing, editing, task automation, research summarization, ideation, and client deliverables. And here's the tip for you. Make sure you save successful prompts, iterate outputs, and integrate with tools like Notion, Docs, or Excel. 
to maximize the value. In many everyday workflows, you'll need to find ways to work faster, learn smarter, and keep project on track. That's where Google Gemini steps in. Gemini is Google's AI chatbot, a direct competitor to ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot. And the best news, it's free. Google Gemini is more than just a chatbot. It's a flexible productivity tool. You can generate content like drafting a professional email or hold back and forth conversation to refine your ideas. For example, you can write a draft prompt, write an email to a potential client about our new project management software, highlight improved collaboration and task tracking, and end with the call to action. And you can instantly adjust the tone, make it shorter, simpler, more professional, or more casual with just one click. Here's the follow-up prompt. Make it shorter and more professional. And the coolest thing is once you got the result you like, you can listen to it out loud, copy it, share it, or even export it directly to Google Docs for further editing. Gemini can analyze uploaded images using Google Lens and its internal analytics. That means that you can drop a screenshot or a photo, even in a foreign language, and Gemini will describe what's there and translate it for you. For example, you can upload a photo and ask, what's this image about? List everything that you see. Isn't it cool? It understood the image, translated the text, and provided us with the description. Professionals often rely on Gemini as a writing partner. It can help outline blogs, polish resumes, draft emails, or proofread academic papers. The key is context. Be specific about your audience, tone, and goals. Here's the sample prompt. I'm writing a blog post about generative AI. Find and summarize three to five credible sources, then create a detailed outline. And here's a follow-up prompt. Draft a paragraph for the key point section, focusing on the latest NLP advancements. One of the Gemini's most practical features is its integration with Google Workspace. You can analyze docs, sheets, slides, and even generate new Gmail for communication. This removes copy and paste steps and makes workflow seamless. For example, I have this resume on my Google Drive. I can copy the link to the resume and ask Gemini to analyze the resume and provide summary. Because this is my first time connecting to Google Workspace, I will be asked to connect. I'm going to choose Connect, and you will see the summary of the document. And here are some cool ideas how you can use this integration. For example, I can generate content and export it as Google Docs. Here's the prompt. Draft a one-page project proposal for a new marketing campaign. Include goals, timeline, and deliverables. Once the content is generated, I can click the Share and Export button and export it to Google Docs. Gemini created a new Google Doc and saved it into my drive. You can also generate new content and export it directly to Gmail for sending. Let's start with the prompt. Write an email introducing our new project management software. Highlight collaboration and tracking benefits and end with the call to action. Once content is generated, you can click Share and Export button and select Draft in Gmail. And the new draft email is ready for you in seconds. All you need to do is edit it, make sure this is what you want, type the recipient's email, and click Send. You can also use Gemini to avoid information overload during research and analysis. Here's the problem. Professionals and students often face too many articles and reports to sift through, making it hard to know which sources are trustworthy and worth their time. Gemini helps you cut through information overload by combining AI summarization with the strengths of Google Indexed Web. Let's say that you need to do research in the recent development in electric vehicle industry. Here's the prompt. Summarize recent industry reports on electric vehicle market. Focus on trends, challenges, and opportunities, and include credible links. Instead of guessing the content, Gemini taps into credible, searchable sources that Google already ranks and validates. Which means that you don't just get quick summaries, you also get authoritative links you can trust. So you know that insights are grounded in real, verifiable material. You can also just search for most trusted sources. Here's the prompt. Find three authoritative sources on the impact of remote work and productivity and summarize the main takeaways in bullet points and references. This is where Gemini really shines compared to standalone AI tools. It doesn't just invent references. It connects you directly with reliable sources Google has indexed across the web. Here's another problem you can solve with Gemini. Long YouTube videos often take too much time to watch, and AI summaries sometimes hallucinate by inventing details. Here's where Gemini stands out. With the YouTube extension enabled, Gemini doesn't just guess what's in the video. It uses the actual transcript written by human behind the video. And that means only one thing. 
you get precise, reliable summaries, not made-up content. Here's the public training documentary video, which I would like to consume. The only problem is, it's 55 minutes long. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the URL and generate three takeaways from this video. And here's the prompt. Extract the top three takeaways from this YouTube video on public speaking using the transcript. And here's the follow-up prompt. Turn those takeaways into a checklist I can use to prepare for my next presentation. This makes Gemini especially powerful for learning. Instead of sitting through 55-minute lecture, you can instantly extract the key insights from the real words spoken in the video. And because it's grounded in the transcript, you can trust the summary to reflect what speaker actually said, eliminating hallucination, which is one of the biggest risks of generative AI. Guess what? Gemini isn't just about writing and research. One of the biggest advantages is how it taps into Google's world-leading map and location data. Here's what it means to you. When you ask for travel plans, hotel suggestions, or driving directions, Gemini isn't guessing. It is getting data from the same trusted authoritative source that powers Google Maps. Try this prompt. Using Google Maps data available to you, help me create a three-day trip planned to London. Include flights, hotel recommendations, and a driving plan for visiting landmarks like Tower of London and Buckingham Palace. Be honest. How many times have you typed something into Google, opened 10 tabs, and ended up reading a cat meme instead of finding your answer? That's the trap of traditional search. It makes you do the legwork. Perplexity AI flips the script. You ask a question, it gathers sources, and hands you a clean, cited answer. To get started, all you need to do is navigate to perplexity.ai and issue a prompt. Let's try it together. What's the difference between migraine and tension headaches? Include medical sources. You've got the detailed answer, related information, as well as list of sources in a separate tab. You can also look at the steps of how Perplexity found your information. The best way to think of Perplexity is as Google meets Wikipedia meets your smartest coworker, and all of it without a long lunch break. All you need to remember is that it's a conversational search engine. You type in plain language, it pulls from the web in real time and shows you exactly where it got the info. Let's try it together. Summarize the latest U.S. inflation rate and expert predictions for the next six months. You've got both answers in just two paragraphs. The current rate is 2.9%. Prediction for inflation between 2.9 and 3.1%. And all of it is just two simple, easy-to-read paragraphs. To be effective with perplexity, you need to follow these three simple steps. Step 1. Start with a clear goal. Always remember, perplexity thrives on clarity. Instead of vague prompts like tell me about climate change, sharpen it. What are the top three causes of climate change in 2025 with data from scientific organizations? And perplexity gives you the reasons in seconds. Burning of fossil fuels, greenhouse gas emissions, and land use changes and deforestation. In step two, you need to decide whether you need focus and filters. You can filter to include different sources. By default, only web sources are included, but you can also include academic, social, and finance. You can also use filters right inside your prompts. You can filter by academic papers, Reddit or YouTube, or you can add modifiers like site.edu or after 2024. And suddenly, your research is laser targeted. And Perplexity instantly found you three studies as well as 18 total sources that you can review further. And finally, in step three, you iterate with follow-ups. Always remember, Perplexity is a conversation, not a one-shot deal. Ask follow-ups to dig deeper. For example, after you get the fasting studies, ask, what are the strongest counter-arguments to these findings? And now you've got the balance, not the echo chamber. I also have some advanced capabilities of perplexity for you to consider. Let's say you have financial report from JP Morgan Chase as PDF file. You can upload the report to perplexity and use the prompt, summarize the attached annual report and compare the key trends. This allows you to upload your own documents and generate summaries or key analysis in seconds. You can also ask perplexity with step-by-step -step reasoning. Let's try this prompt. Explain the reasoning behind predictions for renewable energy growth in 2030. Show sources step-by-step. -step. Asking for step-by-step -step reasoning forces a transparent trail of sources and logic, making the output easier to audit and present. You can also do market and trends research with perplexity. Here's the sample prompt. List AI video editing startups funded in 2025, including amount raised, lead investors, and links to the announcements. Specific fields like year, data points, or links 
turn a VAG scan into structured, copy-paste trading market brief. Let's wrap up. Perplexity helps you cut through the noise, find reliable answers, and explore topics in depth. Whether you're preparing for a meeting, finishing a lesson plan, or satisfying late-night curiosity, want smart questions, beat 10 open tabs. Windows Copilot is your built-in AI assistant that helps you solve everyday problems faster, from fixing settings to boosting performance. If you ever struggled with your Windows computer, screen too bright, battery draining too fast, or an app that just won't stop freezing, then you're not alone. Most users waste time searching online, watching videos, or digging through endless menus. Let me show you how to use Copilot in Windows effectively, so you can save time, reduce frustration, and get more done. You launch Copilot by finding the app through search menu or directly using Windows Start button. Copilot promises a shortcut. You type a question in natural language and it explains what to do. For example, how do I change my screen brightness and text size? And it gives you instructions. You go to Start, Settings, System and Display. Let's try it. Let's launch Settings. We are in System. Let's go to Display. And here under Scale, we can change the text size. I wish I could just type the prompt change my text size to 175%. But the truth is, Copilot doesn't fix things directly for you. It gives you clear instructions and you still need to take final steps directly yourself. Because of this, you want to treat Copilot as a Windows coach. Let's put Copilot and settings side by side and see what we can do. Now you can ask the question, why is my computer running slow? And you see that Copilot gave you a recommendation to check the task manager for startup apps, run Windows Update or free up disk space. I immediately look at my settings and see that the Windows update is missing. And after I restart my computer, Windows will run a lot faster. Let me show you some cool Copilot prompts that you can use solving common Windows problems. Keep in mind that with each prompt you can expand even further by asking more questions. Find files I created this week. What's cool about this is that even though Copilot can't change the settings, but it can access the files in your file system. You can control what's allowed in more details in Copilot settings. To see them, navigate in Copilot pane, click on your profile and select settings. You can allow file search and you can allow file read. Choose to make sure which one is the best for you. Are you struggling with too many notifications? Just ask, how do I turn off distracting notifications? Copilot suggests some cool YouTube videos on the topic, as well as provide you specific instructions how to do it. Here are some other cool prompts to use Windows effectively. If you want dark mode or high contrast, just prompt switch to dark mode and Copilot will guide you through all the steps that you need to do. Here are some other problems you can solve with Copilot. Sound or microphone problems, running out of storage, battery drains too fast, apps freezing or crashing, security worries, multiple monitors not aligned correctly, or accidentally deleted a file. Copilot can guide you how to solve each one of them. And this is just the beginning. Beyond fixing the problems, Copilot can also boost your productivities. And here's how. It can summarize your documents into key points. It can draft professional emails. It can explain technical terms in plain language. Or it can suggest accessibility settings for easier use. Just remember, Copilot won't click it for you. But it will save you time, reduce frustration, and give you answers when you need them. Well, that's it for now. If you learned something new, hit the like button and subscribe to Online Training for Everyone. Have a wonderful day.